Hey guys, it's Peter here. We've got the Yonex Astrox 100ZZ. Let's see how this gets on then. Right, let's see what this is like. This um, cost me £160. I'm really excited to see. Okay, so they give you your own racket case. Anything else in there? And then, we really give you some grip. Really handy. Let's see the racket. Yonex Astrox 100ZZ. Right, so looking at what this type of racket is, it's um, got a fairly stiff shaft and it's head heavy. I've got the 4U range of model, meaning that it's it's the heavier version of the racket. Now I'm more of a, a person who prefers lighter rackets, so I can't wait to try this out and see what it's like. Uh, it's used by um, Victor Axelson, who's a top uh, men singles player, so it's, it's probably going to be better for, for singles players. Uh, so we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll test this out. I've booked a court, so I can't wait. Uh, now I'm no expert, but there's a solid interior. This is what Yonex says. There's a solid interior in the shaft. Most most rackets have a, a hollow interior, and uh, apparently this, this gives you more power. This, this might be just marketing jargon, but I really want to see this and test it out. And I think from looking at it, I might be wrong here, but it's got a slightly smaller head shape than normal. It's got the uh, common isometric head shape, um, so I'm, I'm guessing this is for more advanced players. But yeah, let's go and see. I would look at four different aspects of the racket's quality. This would be the accuracy in its shots, the control, power and fight's defence. We decide to do some drills and then finish off with some games. For the first test, we put some cones on the court. My friend Seth fed me some shuttles and I tried to hit the cones. I say I tried as I failed to hit them, but came quite close at times. The accuracy of this racket was good. It was a bit unforgiving unco at times if you mistimed your shot, but if you didn't, then you could deliver a fairly accurate shot. Next up was the net shot test. I was looking forward to the drill as Yonex market this racket for singles players. In singles, the net shot is one of the most important shots, so I was expecting big things. As you can see earlier on, I struggled to play tight net shots, and I was getting used to this racket. Later on I got used to it, and I was really happy with it. The shuttle appeared to dance delicately off the strings, and I felt in control when I was at the net. Then we tested the power in the racket smash. With the racket's head heavy and stiff frame, I was expecting more power to be generated from this racket. I found I could hit the shuttle harder than I would with my normal racket. It was not a huge difference, but it was definitely noticeable. Seth had a go, and he also thought the same. He mentioned like I did earlier that he would frame his shots with this racket quite frequently. He said that as this racket is aimed at higher level players, maybe the sweet spots on the strings are smaller, or we're just not used to the racket yet. Finally, we looked at the racket's defensive skills. I was not expecting this to be that good defensively, with being a heavy and of racket. However, I was pleasantly surprised, and found playing defensive shots so simple and easy. If I was playing against a big smasher, I'd feel fairly confident. When Seth played with the Yonex racket, he was impressed with the power it could bring, and the defensive shots it could play. When I played with the racket, I found I could play tight net shots, and I discovered playing late backhand shots easy. My overall thoughts on this racket were, it had great control and accuracy, and despite it being a head heavy racket, 
It was good on um, quick defensive shots. In this smash, I would say it gave me a little bit more power, but I found if you did not hit the uh, sweet spot on the strings, you really would frame it. I'd say if you're a beginner or an inexperienced player, then this racket probably wouldn't be worth it for you. However, if you're looking to uh, push the boat out a bit and spend a bit extra cash, then this racket could add something to your game. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've used this racket before, then comment below and let me know what your experience was.